Okay. Uh, we've got four o'clock tip off Salisbury versus Wellington, Napoleon. Let's hear from Kenny White, coach Salisbury. Uh, on behalf of the Salisbury community and our school, I'd like to thank the MFA and the Shawnee State Games for the opportunity to play on the floor. And it's, you know, it's really exciting for our kids to get to do that. Uh, I brought eight people with me. First, my, I'll just call them one at a time so you kind of tell who's who when they stand up. I brought the assistant coach, Mitchell Green, who's a former player of mine. Uh, I was thinking I had two former players in the conference, and uh, I think when that started happening, you know you've been doing it a while. We call plays from the bench, and they're telling their kids what to do. So and you got to start thinking about changes and things, I guess. And I brought all my seniors. Uh, first one's Austin Fiddler, played guard for us. Derek Druthers, plays forward, Jeff Lavin, plays a guard, and uh, then I brought my four senior starters, Eli Asbury, returning all conference player. And then I've got something I've never had before, and it's pretty safe to say never will have again. I've got three all state players on the same team uh, Austin Francis, a center force, uh, Austin Wyatt, and Zach Wyatt. Uh, we return uh, 12 letter winners from last year's 32 class two runner up team. Uh, this year we're 14 and one. Uh, our one loss, uh, like Southern Boone's coach said, was the Southern Boone the championship game in the Centralia tournament. Uh, probably a better win, a close win against Glasgow, a close win against Hallsville, a couple nice wins against a really quality Cairo team that we played in the quarterfinals last year. Uh, we're a big team, smallest starter, 6'2". Uh, probably the best part of our game is to really get up and down the floor probably the best transition team I've ever had. So uh, we're fun to watch if I can get them to play defense, I think. And uh, <laughs> that's the thing is, uh, I've got a good friend over here, Todd Shannon, and it's real nice to get to play his ball club. And even though it's our fourth game of the week, uh, our kids are really looking for the chance of playing on the floor. And Wellington has a quality program, I think, a Final Four team two years ago. So we're looking forward to the challenge. Coach, thank you very much. And we'd like to introduce your sponsor, and that would be Katie Kowser. Are you here, Katie? Thank you for being here. You've got three All-State guys. <laughs> All right, uh, Ken Ash, tell us this, the real secret of Ken Ash. Well, why was he a good coach? <laughs> uh, and David Boxman tests that he could get honest in practice. But with respect to the guy, one thing I'll never, I'll never forget about it, he got on me about as hard as I ever remember in practice, and we're walking off the court, and uh, he starts telling me a joke. And I, I'll, I'll never forget that. And I thought, you know, he, I always tell my kids, if I'm not yelling at you, I don't think you can do better. And uh, that's something I always remember about Coach. He wanted to push us and get the most out of us. And uh, we have a pretty good team with a lot of local kids on that team where I play. You know, Danny Woodhelm from Brunswick. Dick Tharp from Leesville, uh, David Fox from Columbia, and Mike Davis, the coach of the Columbia College, Columbia Franks, and we were just local kids. And, you know, my junior year, I think we were 26 and four. And that's what I remember mean most of our coach. The man is the best out of us. And probably you know, I use more of his stuff than any other coach that I've played under. That's, that's the one thing I still do. Coach, thank you very much. All right, let's hear from Wellington Napoleon's head coach, Todd Shannon. Coach. Okay, like the other coaches, we'd like to thank uh, MFA Oil, great time, and the Show Me State Games for putting on such a showcase event. It's a great opportunity for the small communities and the kids to play at a Division I university like this. I've got six seniors. I uh, brought five of them today, if you guys would stand up. Um, to my far left, I've got Brandon Nindick. Uh, Brandon's my starting two guard. Just got him back. He uh, had a real bad injury in football. Uh, didn't get him back till about, no, oh, second week of January, I believe. Uh, Christian Bryant uh, is the next one standing next to him. Both those guys started for me as sophomores when we got the privilege to come down here at, as a Final Four team. And so they've been with me for a while and playing playing with us. Uh, next to him, we've got Jacob Beckemeyer, which is a senior for us. Jake Resky, which is a senior. And then Blake Brockmeyer, which is also a senior. Then the one senior, you guys can sit down. The one senior we don't have here is Brett Schauberg, our five man that was also out with injury. We just got him back. So we feel pretty pretty lucky now that we finally got everybody um, 
healthy and going. This is our second time getting uh, to play here. We got to play here last year, and it's a great honor and a privilege, not only as a school, but also for the kids and the, and the fans. Um, we've played a real tough schedule so far this year. We're 11 and five. All five of our losses have been to class three or class four schools. Uh, Sunday, it won't get any easier, even though Salisbury is a class two school. Um, I know they're very, very talented. Um, he was talking about he doesn't have a kid under 6'2". I don't have a kid over 6'2". So you're going to see Button Jeff going out a little bit. But, um, you know, Coach Wise is a good friend of mine. He's always uh, ran a very successful program. Um, Austin and Zach, I've known them for a long time. They're very talented. Um, group of guys, and uh, we're looking forward to coming out and competing with them, and it'll be a tough game for us. But once again, we'd like to thank everyone for the opportunity to play here.